school. It's in Pomfret, Connecticut, 9 through 12 in a PG year, boarding and day school. And JJ and Caroline are here to take me on a tour today, and I want to thank you both for taking some time. No problem. You're very welcome. We're now in front of the chapel, right? Yes. What happens here? Do you have school meetings, those sorts of things? Um, we meet in the chapel twice a week on Mondays and Wednesdays. And on Monday is Senior Chapel. And Senior Chapel is basically where three to four seniors um, have a chapel talk. And they talk either about their reflection um, on their time at Pomfret or a personal experience in their life. And that's really, required? Yes, it's a yeah. requirement in order to graduate. Cool. And it's a really fun time to kind of see your classmates um, up there giving a talk. Um, and then on Wednesday, we have either our chaplain talk or um, a faculty member. And that's kind of nice to get to know the faculty outside the classroom. It's a really great thing to pop All right, so where are we right now? We are in Centennial Building. And in this building, um, it's the other school building. And here, all the classes, English and math, um, are held here. OK. And um, math is downstairs, and English is upstairs. And in English, in the English classrooms, they're all discussion-based. Mm. Um, so roundtables for discussion um, about books, anything, um, new topics, yeah. English topics. Um, for, for year, uh, each term, would they read about at least one book, and um, they discuss it and go over it. Also, in Centennial, we have two art classrooms. We have ceramics and painting and drawing. Those are upstairs. Um, we have ceramics down here okay. and painting and drawing upstairs. Gotcha. And, um, each student is required to take eight art classes before they graduate. So it could be ceramics, painting and drawing, theater, um, singing. So anything you really are into, you're allowed. Uh, most students end up taking more than eight. Um, so you said eight? Well, yeah, eight, so about eight, two, so per one, one, two per year. Oh, yeah. two per year. I see. So what did you guys take? Um, I'm right now. I'm taking painting and drawing. Okay. But, um, I've taken theater classes, um, intro to playwriting. I've done ceramics. Wow. So why really, variety? Really, comfort really yeah. gets you involved in really um, all types of art and kind of opens your mind to things you wouldn't normally do. Um, yeah, is that one of the biggest differences between Pomfret and your previous school? Do you think? Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Pomfret's really gotten you involved because um, of the requirements here. Um, there's a requirement to take art classes, uh, a digital arts class. Um, so. A religion, so I've also, I've, you know, tried a whole bunch of different things. Definitely, it's definitely yeah. opened my mind to new things. Yeah, and it's definitely forced me to do things I didn't think I was good at. Um, I knew I wasn't an artist when I came here, and at my old school, I probably wouldn't have even taken one, but um, when I came here, I had to do something, so I took ceramics and I loved it. Um, I was asked to do pre AP, which is awesome. Um, I also took painting and drawing. So, yeah. right. what so about, we've come into what you know typically is one of the most popular spots on any college, on any campus tour, I imagine, which is college guidance, right? Yes. So tell me about the, the, the college guidance process here at Pomfret. Um, the college guidance process is really hands-on. Um, you really get to know your college counselor um, on a personal level. Um, you usually meet with them um, a lot during, well, you first start meeting with them in your junior year. So it kicks the process kicks off in your... Junior, yes. Okay. I would say, is it junior winter? Yeah, yeah. about the winter. Okay. They get involved very early. Right, um, sure. And then they follow up with you on meetings, and then it starts to obviously get more involved Intense. during right, um, right. senior fall. Um, and a fun statistic is that 67% of Pomfret graduates go to the top 20 schools based on the Princeton Review. Right. And, and <clears throat> so how many t t students typically work with a counselor? Um, typically, a great thing about Pomfret is that we have about 30 students per college counselor. Um, we have five counselors who wow. um, work very hard with their counselees. Um, and like Caroline says, it gets way more involved as you become a senior. And uh, a lot of schools have more than 30, so it's very good to become on a personal level with your college counselor. Um, you feel like the attention's there. Definitely. I, I text my counselor all the time. Yeah, right. He asks me questions, <laughs> how I'm doing. My, have, my have times have changed. I used to like actually knock on the door when I was in high school and I would text. So, all right. so we've, come into the, we've come inside the athletic center. You know, what's the athletic program like at Pomfret? Um, you're required to, every student is required to take uh, one sport each term. Um, it's more, you can choose between a sport and an activity, really. Um, if you're not, you know, the athletic prodigy, you can take, right. <laughs> you can, um, you can take, uh, be on the radio. Pomfret has a student-run radio. Hmm. Um, so it's just broadcast on campus, or does it yes, go beyond? Yes, there's um, a radio room right in this building, actually, in the student center cool. upstairs. Um, 
there's community service, um, you can do weight training with one of the faculty, um, there's, you can do the theater, um, dance, uh, so there's really a lot of options if you're not interested in doing sports. But uh, So are there, are, is there a requirement to participate in our team at all or just that you, you occupy your afternoons? Um, you have to uh, do an activity, okay. so yeah, like you know what I'm saying, you don't have to do a sport. Um, a lot of kids like to uh, try out different sports. We don't offer just varsity. We have JV and third levels as well. So anybody can exactly. really try it, right? If That's you're great. a first timer to the sport, you can really it's jump into it. Yeah. 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 How about your experiences here athletically? Um, my experience here is I'm mainly a basketball player, and um, when I first came, I've never played lacrosse, and I picked it up for the first time, and I just, I, right when I started, I loved it. Um, I had a great time. I started JV my freshman year, and so um, it was, I really liked it. It was a new sport I had to try. And have you tried it all the way through? Yeah, but yeah. I'm still playing yeah. it. Yeah, that's great. How about you? Um, I've, <coughs> sorry, I've played um, on varsity volleyball and varsity lacrosse since my sophomore year. Um, and then I'm on the dance company in the winter. Okay. So that's, dance company is kind of my activity that I do. Um, but that still meets on a, every day after school for an hour and a half. Um, so it is, it, you know, it takes up your afternoons just like a practice would. The library is a really um, important place for me. Um, it's a really good place kind of to escape to study um, by yourself and just to have that quiet place to go. Um, it, especially during exam week, I come here. Um, a lot and study by myself or study with a group. There's um, a bunch of tables here for um, around kind of discussion um, based studying. So that's been really helpful for me um, mm. just to have this. Like Carolyn was saying, we have a lot of classes, or each history class comes in here, and um, you have at least one session or two sessions in your proper career where the librarians meet with your whole class and you learn research skills, how to use cer certain search engines, and how to use the encyclopedia, for example. So that's very helpful for doing things at Pomfret, and especially it, it will be very helpful in college. Yeah. Um, we also have two computer labs here. Which yeah, are right behind you, right? Right yeah. behind yes. us, yeah. which are open for um, whenever you need it during study hall at night. You need um, to print something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do, do, are, do, do most students carry laptops here? Or? Most students yeah. do have laptops, but it's really, if, it, if you don't have a laptop, this, there's, we are a Mac school, so we have a bunch of Macs here. Um, and you can come here during your study hall time and use these computers to your advantage. So there's plenty of access. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. Everything is wireless on campus. So um, if you wanted to use your computer outside on the quad or in one of the buildings, you can bring it to class and use it. Mm. Um, we have uh, certain requirements for computer classes. You have to take at least one to graduate. And we have a large variety of classes. Um, you can take digital graphics, 3D, um, audio production, um, I've taken two. I took a uh, digital graphics and I loved it, so I decided to take it. Just outside one. the dining hall now. You know, tell me about the dining experience here at Pomfret. Well, we have um, sit-down lunch twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and as I mentioned before, that's one of the ways our community comes together mm -hmm. as a whole again, um, which makes five ways: being the chapel, school meeting, and sit-down um, lunches. And uh, you're assigned a table with a faculty member, and that changes every. Um, four weeks every month so you're at the same table for four times and it really gets um, gives you a chance to get to know you know new faculty members that you don't necessarily have a class with or new students who aren't in your classes or aren't in your grade and it really meshes the upperclassmen and the lower classmen. Gotcha. So it's separated by grade by yeah, yes. all kinds of things. Right, great. Uh, come on campus at the very end of a tour I always ask this question it, why, why has Pomfret School been a good place for for the two of you to go to school? Uh, definitely uh, Poverty's definitely really changed my high school experience. Um, it's offered me so many new opportunities that I wouldn't have um, ventured into at my old school. Um, something special that um, has changed my Poverty experience is the advisor system here, being so far away from home. Um, I have an advisor and an advising group, and my advisor here really serves as like my second mother. Um, she's there for me whenever I need her. Um, and my advising group is kind of a, works as a support group, um, and that's really helped me being so far away. Um, and you, and KJ? Um, for me, Pomfret has definitely helped me move from point A to B in my life. Um, it's changed me drastically. Um, from pretty much everything I do at Pomfret, from living in the dorms, I've never done that before. 
has given me a take on how to live with people from different cultures, um, ethnic backgrounds. It's helped me to learn and compromise with them and everything. Um, in the classroom, uh, the academic, the rigorous academics here has helped me learn how to plan my time out and that it's not just fun and games all the time. You have to sit down and do the work and meet with teachers if you can't do the work. Um, it's helped me on the sports field how to be a leader and it's given me a lot of leadership opportunities to learn how to work with people and to just learn myself better. Definitely. Well, thank you both. I uh, appreciate the tour thank and I you. wish you the best of luck this thank senior year. Thank you very much.